tonight from M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. their crab cakes and they love their football that's what maryland does and we are at m&t bank stadium down near the inner harbor of baltimore tonight we've got a great sunday night matchup between the cincinnati Bengals and the baltimore ravens and ultimately he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25 here come the Bengals, and cd of course is Joe Burrow out of LSU at quarterback. And when you come into the league, the number one guy selected, a lot of hype comes with it. Sometimes that weight can be unbearable. But this young man, he took that weight on and handled it as well as you can imagine. And I love his ability to make a second, third reaction play and create downfield. On first and 10, Joe Burrow trying to get it to Chase, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Deshaun Elliott. Turn will stop right around the 25. The number eight, Lamar Jackson, trotting onto the field at quarterback, ready to lead this Ravens offense. And what he's thinking about right now is first down, let's find a way to make a big play. Because when you get a sudden change situation, that defense has to rush onto the field unexpectedly, you might catch them having a defensive breakdown or not quite prepared. And it was really sudden after the first play picked off. And they'll begin by running the option. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Here's Jackson to throw. They set up the screen for Dobbins. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. But Charles, first drive here, a little safe completion underneath. Maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball, but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field everyone getting their feet wet early and he had to get this down to the 15 he won't make it he's a yard or two short it'll go down as a gain of six and that'll bring up fourth down they're going for it with Dobbins and he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown J.K. Dobbins a 16-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. So a big decision there to go on fourth down. Gets him not only the first, but gets him the touchdown as well. And Brandon, you and I know that all these coaches tell us if every play is executed the way it's designed, it goes for a touchdown. Let's be honest. They were shooting for the first down on that one. And boy, were they fortunate to take it all the way in. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And the Ravens lead at 7 0. A drive there on just four plays. And it's finished off by a touchdown run from J.K. Dobbins. Tucker down to kick it away following the touchdown. Brandon Wilson now from his end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Joe Burrow trots out again with the rest of his offense. And he'll need to find a way to shrug off the opening drive, if you can even call it a drive. One play and an interception, so he's got to forget that. I know that in today's football, we have a good number of coaches who don't look at time of possession the way that the, the old school guys did. But there's still a place for it. I think that on this drive, after having thrown that interception, 
they're going to want to eat up a little bit more clock and run some offense and give their defense a little bit of a break. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. They go play action with Burrow. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up fourth. Well, he shot in CD like he was out of a cannon from that linebacker position. And even though they had a running back in the backfield, no one could stop him. Well, you certainly diagnosed that play perfectly because as fast as he got into the backfield, you're exactly right. The running back had no shot to get over and try and protect his quarterback, and a sack resulted. Fourth and goal, and down by a touchdown, the offense stays on the field. They'll try and throw for it with Burrow. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. Now he'll get this one way up, just shy of the 45-yard line. Boy, that's some kind of effort. When he caught it, I doubted if he could get there. Knew it was going to be close, but credit him, really good effort. How about the rack on that play, the run after catch? But most of the time, we think of it as just being an open field and picking up yardage. Sometimes you have to be real physical in order to gain the yardage you need for a first down. The last run got six, now second and four. Here's a give to Mixon. And he'll go down, shy of the 40 at the 41. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. First down, here's Burrow. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. A handoff to Mixon. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Patrick Queen gets him for a loss of five. He is so tough to handle on the blitz, and that's exhibit A. They sent him on the blitz from that linebacker spot, and boy, he got there quickly. He certainly did, and obviously he could have used a block from his running back, but I think you nailed it right there. The defender got into the backfield so fast, it's hard for anyone to react. The Burroughs throw here into the hands of Boyd. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10, mark him down at the 9. And coming into this ball game, this was an offense that wasn't just talking about the notion of ball control. They were preaching it. They wanted to win the time of possession battle, and they've done so here. This drive's taken up quite a bit of the first quarter. Now they are set up first and goal. They'll give it to Mixon. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Joe Mixon taking it in from two yards out. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Evan McPherson now for the PAT. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. So all even at 7 now as they kick it away. DuVernay going to sit on this in the end zone, so it'll come out to the 25. 
Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Throwing is Jackson. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 40. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Joe Mixon. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. On second down and four, Burrow. And he fires one that's intercepted. It's the sack master, Justin Houston, who comes up with it. He's at the 40, the 20. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. Short throw pick six right there. Those linebackers, they love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide. There. How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From his end zone, Wilson. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So now the Bengal offensive unit back out onto the field. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one, didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. his man chase complete and he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion Mixon with a first down carry and he's going to get this one down to the 45 five yards on the carry good pickup on first down after the pickup of five here's second and five From the gun to give to Mixon. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. 
That's caught by the tight end, Drew Sample. And he is going to have a Bengals first down. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. They'll run on first down. Nixon. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine, Burrow. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Out of the shotgun, they roll with Nixon. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. McPherson's kick is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. That was perfect. From distance, he steps up, knocks it right down Main Street. And Main Street's celebrating right now with him, aren't they? I love the mechanics of the whole thing. Snap, hold, everything was right on target, and the blocking was perfect, and he executed so, so well. No run back here for Duvernay. Touch back out to the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. Up downfield on second down. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. It's a big play there for Baltimore. Let's face it, the focus is going to be at the end of this play on the big-time gain, right? He lined up on the left and worked his way all the way to the right before the perfect pass found him. But how about the offensive line and the protection to give him enough time to work his way all the way across the field? Trey Hendrickson, the one who gets him on the ground. They'll go option to the short side. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So erase the red zone score. They'll have to dial that one up again. And you know how difficult it is to strike in the red zone because things are a little bit more condensed. Got to go back to their play chart and see if they can dial up another one. Rolling to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Now, after that last play, there's a Bengal down on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Jackson will look to throw it. Open man, Watkins, touchdown, Baltimore. A nine-yard touchdown there, and the Ravens will add on to their lead. Tucker now for the extra point. It's good, and it's 21-10. That time, a six-play drive, and it's capped off the Baltimore score. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From his end zone, Wilson. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. 
Joe Nixon and the Bengal offense ready to go back to work. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Now Burrow on first down. And now Burrow going to be intercepted yet again. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott. Second time he's picked off a pass here in the first half alone. Again, another great read defensively. And you just see him get in the right position to make the play and get his guys the football back. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at the 40. Off play action. Jackson going deep here for Watkins. And this is incomplete. Well played defensively. Nearly had the interception. But it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. Open man is the tight end, Nick Boyle. And he will have a Ravens first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Jackson now off the bootleg. Flushed out right. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. They go play action with Jackson. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. The Ravens on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third down and 12. On the handoff, Edwards. And he gets this only to the 41. Not near enough for the first. A good pick up there, seven yards, but it brings up fourth down. Now Justin Tucker. He has hit from 61 in his career, so he has the leg for this. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. No return here for Wilson. To touch back, it'll come out to the 25. Here again comes Joe Burrow in the offense for the Bengals. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. Calais Campbell on the stop. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Here's Burrow. He gets this one to Boyd. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 
when you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. It's Chuck Clark picking it off. And the Ravens are going to get the foot down here at their own 40-yard line. So wipe out the INT roughing the passer. What a disaster. An absolute disaster. And you hope their lockers are not right next to each other <laughs> for the post game. Safe to say one is not buying the other dinner. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Press coverage on the outside. And for defenders, that's the ultimate risk reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping him on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on him. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. Eluding the pressure right. And he's brought down. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second. And he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Mixon with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bengals have got it back to a one-score game. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Extra point by McPherson up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. Hey, we won't do what we do. So the extra point good, and the roughing call going to move the ball out to the 50 for the kickoff. And I think this is a good chance to pin them deep if you can land the kickoff inside the five-yard line or so. Gain some field position for your defense. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. So from the 36 now, first and 10. First and 10, it's Dobbins. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Well, I can certainly tell my age, partner, because when I was a kid, running backs like J.K. Dobbins with over 2,000 yards in their final season in college, they went early in the draft. Instead, he somehow lasted until the second round. But how great is it to get a guy with that ability who could run it inside, run to the perimeter, and catch the football in the backfield? To be able to get him in the second round, that's what I call a steal. On first and ten, it's Jackson. That's into the hands of Prochet. Seven yards, the pick up there. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. Jackson looking to throw on third. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 32-yard line. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. Now a first carry for their fullback. 
They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Good solid game there on first down, but the defense has to be happy. They didn't let it pop for anything bigger. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. Letting one go deep for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Inside handoff here to Ricard. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. Made his first, this now from 42 yards out. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. And Wilson is perfectly content to bring this out to the 25, a touchback. Joe Mixon and the rest of his offense. for football. Hey, we'll shift you off to Orlando. Jonathan Cushman will have first half highlights. 
This kick is good. This is back to the seven point game. These kickers now it used to be that a 50 plus yards was cause for celebration. Now seemingly automatic. It's so funny when we prepare for a game, when you look at the background of these, these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it? To find out they're all state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We find out. Lamar Jackson marching back onto the field. He's got the lead here in the second quarter. He's thrown the touchdown, but also an interception. It was a quarter try for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the former first rounder, Trey Waynes. And you know, we see this up to the quarterback of his caliber, two first half interceptions. It's, it's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. They're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off? His biorhythms? What is it? You had a horoscope on us, David. Well, I would think it may be red sleeves was on. I'm trying to come up with something. Right? A missed tackle there as he pushes forward for a gain of four. And any running play that's called, they're always hoping it's going to break big and go the distance. And you get a nice game like that. You're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run it's essentially the same play again. Continue to move the ball. It's inside the throw ball now because usually in the defense back on its heels. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead them to third down. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the punters and freed up the D line to make that line. but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. It's what we call a sudden change, right? An interception, you got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. So not much time to speak of in the of this first half as it kicks away. risk anything here late in the half. They'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The football back over to Baltimore and J.K. Dobbins. He's been good. His guys are winning so far. The rest should be working here in the second quarter. They, they definitely like to just tote the rock. He's to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trip. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. Final play of the half here is Jackson. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And this one too low. So we reach halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we went in that first half. This, this is certainly been... Ready to re 
receive it. And they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. Dumont is going to sit on this in the end zone. So we're going to come out to the 25. And now come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball. And I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep it up in that defense, and I think our coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Rolling to his right. A quick feed by Jackson. And all he shots. down a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does at least a little bit because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of coming behind substantially. But you have to do it without pressing. But pressing, that will lead you to bear errors. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. On second down, Nixon. 82 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Despite the score, despite the deficit, Should change what that scoreboard is saying. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Burrow throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the 
football there and sitting down. Here's second and ten. And mix it with it. And he will be brought down at about the 40 40 that time. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Again, it's Mixon. And he gets this only to the 44 yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. Two teams are trying to pick up there. It's fourth down. But this team should be true to who they are. In this situation, I wonder if maybe they have guessed themselves a little bit. Third down, it seemed like an obvious passing situation. They chose to run it and then get a little close to the first down. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. Here's Chase now to Jet Sweep. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain to second and two. That's, that's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing his will. Answer to a touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. The first carry for Samaji P. Ryan. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. how hard it can be to stop it. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Joe Mixon in the Bengal offense ready to go back to work. He's hoping to find the end zone for a third time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more. I think he's the most of his offensive line. Anytime you get a guy who's throwing that many times, 
That means you've done a really nice job in front of it. You're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's a good idea. Come up now, first and 10 at their 25 yard line. Off the play fake to Dobbins. Here's Jackson. He's going deep for Brown. And this really interception, but it's incomplete. A turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Fair to say, the secondary play, whichever side you're on, hasn't really been a glowing exhibition so far, but a nice job there to, to prevent a long completion. I, I agree with you, but at some point, someone had to make a play and try and stop this exhibition of almost speed racing that we've been watching, huh? Yeah, it has been quarterback and receiver dumping. On second down, the Dobbins, and he'll be up into the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard game there. That's, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Forcey in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure on the quarterback in this fantastic situation. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. He gets seven there, but it brings up fourth. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it. 
of the defender, but a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and, and they force a fourth down. Here's Sam Cook now, and it's going to run it away for the second time. During setting screen, you have 20 options. Then your narration option is set to office selected. And now the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they get into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Here's Joe Nixon as they start on the ground. And as they take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. Now it's a second down and six. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. Open man is Uzama. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. And now they're in the hurry up. They'll run on first down. Nixon. He's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. Run makes this a 100-yard night. I love the way he's hit the whole thing. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Captain Nixon on second down. As he's inside the 40. 119 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. A lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. Going down, Burrow on first down. Looking left side of his guy, man. Busting through contact. Just wasn't a huge hole there for him to operate. Stopped just inside the 35-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Burrow. He's going to lose yardage here. Exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. The Bengals on third and down. They're right at about the league average, 40% for 10. This is third and nine. Once again, they went with Nixon. And he'll be stopped here well. Thank you. 
That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. He'll have the win at his back here in the fourth quarter. McPherson's kick is good. Back with the four. So an interesting call there to take the three. I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the air. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there. Hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Second sack of the night. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage. At that time, they get him down. Yeah, yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time, they felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play the way wet and get him on the ground before he does any damage. It's a loss of two. Now third down. the 37 on first and 10. To, to throw is Jackson. And that'll be complete to Dallas. And they'll get it down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Jackson with a handoff to Dallas on the young. 
option. And he is met quickly in the backfield. And down he goes, folded like a chair. Two yards to the loss. And now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. And if you're thinking field goal from here, it's 48 yards. I think they'd like to get him a little help now on third and down to move it closer. But he's got his man. situations fourth and three fourth and four that's that's a lot to what, what would you say a lot of pizza left in that <laughs> Kind of play 
three tie game, but not behind. Both the sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. They'll run again with Pirine. And he gets it down to the 32. And there we saw one of the downsides of Bixon during a run down because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with a band. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. on to kick this one away. Duvernay now going to bring it out. This is turn the net positive as he gets past the 25 to the 27 yard line. Jackson and the Ravens, here they come. Down by eight, a minute 13 to play. They've surrendered a double digit. They had an opportunity, had a chance, and probably were feeling pretty good about what was going on, and that was taken away from them by their own mistake. Yeah, the opportunity squashed. to try to finish this thing off. Second and inches. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you've still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead is up to 15 now. 
So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And a penalty marker's down on the field. They might need to be backing up a bit here to start the drive. Not at all. When you tap on the pedal, that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. And that's complete to Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Raymond's going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Escaping the pressure right. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So he was past the line of scrimmage when he threw it. And as they say, that's a no-no. Got to be able to understand where you are on the field and not cross the line before throwing the ball downfield. Jackson throws on target to Duvernay. Yeah, he's got to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Jackson. And this is caught by Watkins. And a loose football, and the Bengals grab it. And he's free going down the left side. It's, it's a foot race. Yes. And that should just about do it. They return it to the end zone, sealing it with a defensive touchdown. The offense, they've had some sloppy moments. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. The question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. With no timeouts left, that's a dangerous proposition working in the middle of the field. Fortunately for them, that one fell incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Throwing, Jackson. Throw left side, complete. That's Brown. And he is into the end zone for the touchdown. So they still need a miracle with a clock where it's at, but they get one piece to the puzzle done. Still have hope. Tucker able to connect on the extra point as this gets him back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. So now with little time remaining, they'll have this and maybe one more play. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I'm